Every day, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of innocent plants are murdered by vegetarians. You need to help stop the violence. Hey, you know what? Just remember that I am only responsible for what I say. I am not responsible for what you understand. Ha <laughs> ha, you got it? Roger Stone, what did he understand? He's a free man. President Trump, he granted him a clemency thingamadoo and he's not having to go to jail. And, and the left is totally insane with this thing. They've lost their minds, right? These are the same people, though, that turn around every day and say, let the bad guys out of jail because they might get the virus. You know, but this guy, put him in jail and we'll hope that he gets the virus because he's a friend of President Trump's, right? There is no justice. Was President Trump right or wrong in doing this? I mean, I don't know. You'd have to do a lot of drilling down, but are they right for acting like this? It's the old story. It's okay if I do something, but you can't. My opinion is okay. Yours is as well, as long as it matches mine. Governor Newsom, Newsom in California, he's now talking about letting 8,000 prisoners go within the next couple of weeks, and a lot of these are bad guys. Really bad guys, but he says they're going to get the virus in there, the poor little men, so we have to let them out. And you know what? I insist that they wear face masks. No kidding. Social distancing. He goes on to say, I'm sure they will respect that. These are people who break the law, right? They are in jail, right? Is there any part of that he doesn't get? I'm not so sure about that, but if you live in California, your family now, Potentially, they're not safe, right? You have to pay attention. You got to smarten up instead of stupid and down, like the government is always telling you to do. Dumb and down. Wow, you got to go buy a gun. You got to look after your family. This is crazy stuff. And this is not the first batch of prisoners that is being let out, probably the fourth or fifth. It ain't nice. And you know what? Then they go around, they being the government and the California Democrat government, and they order sheriff departments and police departments to arrest people who aren't wearing a mask, right? <laughs> wear a mask. I think the 8,000 people, certainly a large number of them, will wear masks when they go into a bank or a liquor store because that's their places of employment, right? They go in there and they rob them. Good bloody grief. And then you have so many cities, but this particular one is in Minneapolis, uh, and they voted unanimously now to defund and dismantle the city police department. And now, though, they all have private armed security, right? And they don't want the people to have any guns or any kind of defense, and yet they're going to get rid of the police. This thing keeps on all of the time. There's no logic, there's no sense, and that is the right and that's the left. The left is the first one, of course, that makes no sense. It's bloody scary. You know what? Regardless of your political beliefs, I think there's one thing that all Americans can actually agree on, but they need to get prepared. Every U.S. citizen and their families are facing danger now. They truly are. That they either shouldn't have or certainly they're not prepared for. Uh, rioters and looters continue to destroy, endanger, and threaten everything around them. The news doesn't even report it anymore as much as they did because it's become commonplace. Disease is scaring and separating people. Severe political division continues to grow. What once was a disagreement now is about violence and hatred. When it comes to the safety of your own family and your own home, you need to protect those things, and certainly you need to protect your way of life. So please, do not tell me that gun control is a good thing. Keep that stupid stuff to yourself. Because you know what? 25 million Americans now, it's up that high, have a concealed carry permit, and another 200 million Americans are armed, and they all should be. Because there's bad guys walking around. The prisons don't matter anymore. There's no police anymore. You got anarchy in some places. I mean, you got to look after yourself. Thank God for the Second Amendment. I mean, good grief. Nobody wants to shoot anybody. I don't want to shoot anybody. But every time I'm in this as soon as I arrive across the border, I immediately carry. I have for a long, long time, many, many years. And, and you need to. The chances of my using a gun is kind of like going to Mars, but you've got to be ready. And now, maybe not Mars so much. could be Pluto because it's becoming a very dangerous place. Then you slide over to Canada. And, you know, you have bunches and bunches of same oldness going on there with regards to the uh, prime mistake of that country. Federal ethics laws have been broken by the uh, PM several times, and he has broken numerous conflicts of interest laws. And, and it's kind of like speeding in your car. When you get a speeding ticket, most of us have had at least one. The chances are, well, I think it's a certainty, that you have sped more than that one time that you got caught, right? And the government is such a big lumbering machine that you know that if he's only been caught a half a dozen times, you know that he's been caught many times more, or 
pardon me, has not been caught many more times than that. So he's guilty, guilty, guilty. He's like a banana republic. He's destroying the country. He's padding the pockets of himself, his family, and probably all of his cronies. And it's a terrible thing. I mean, recently he was caught, uh, or recently, a couple of years ago, he was caught effectively stealing money. He was an elected member of parliament getting a big paycheck. And he was charging, I think it was like a half a million dollars for speeches. And they caught him. And he said, sorry, I was caught. He didn't say, sorry, I did it. And, and then he gave the money back. It's like, go rob a bank. And if you get caught, give the money back and you'll, you're fine. If you don't get caught, go have a nice time, right? I mean, good bloody grief. And then he went on to say one time that women must believe in a champion. Arrest for men who had only been accused. If you're accused, you're guilty, okay? And then one day a woman accused him and he said, not so fast, we just disagree on that and I'm okay. And he got away with it. He's like a Teflon frying pan. And now you have this wee charity thing, almost a billion dollars. They've given it back subsequent to all this nonsense, but almost a billion dollars was given to them. But prior to that, even his mother, his brother, so far, they found more than a quarter of a million dollars that went to these people for fees. And, and you know, it's like speeding again. You know that there's a whole whack of dough there that'll never be uncovered. Zillions and zillions of dollars, right? He's destroyed Canada, if I'm mistaken. He's destroyed his culture and what he hasn't destroyed, he's working on, and he's doing a good job. He's destroyed its culture, his bank account, his rights, his freedoms. He says it's because he was privileged, okay, <laughs> when he, he was being brought up. And, and he's white, and he has white privilege. Who says that? Who does that? And this guy actually says that. I had white privilege and privilege upbringing. Well, you know what? We as Canadians should have the privilege of seeing this guy so far in prison, you got to feed him with a bloody slingshot. I mean, he's raving and pillaging and burning soon the entire country. You know what? Uh, his crimes are too numerous to mention. Is it a crime? A lot of it might not be illegal, but it's certainly still kind of ethically incorrect, right? And certainly a lot of it probably is illegal. He's a globalist. He said Canada has no culture, and he continues to shrudge it all off. Uh, you know what? Um, he's not the voice of reason. He's the voice of treason, and it's a bad, bad thing. Hey, how do you fix it? Call your members of parliament. I don't know that you'll get any mileage out of that because these are basically a bunch of trained SEALs. They, they don't do a lot on their own, but if you bombard them all the time, don't just call once, call them 10 times a day and send them emails and ju just swarm them. And, and maybe, maybe they'll come out of the ether. It's worth a shot. And the liberal said, all I want is a full day's pay for a partial hour worked. Soon it'll be, how dare you say that I have to work an hour? Oh, Boy, it's a messed up world. We can make it better. Hey, y'all come back. See ya.